This is the video of how to set up multi-pass on a Cobot CRX. So, the first thing you have to do is have your program ready. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slide an arc start into your program. You're gonna select that icon, and then you're gonna hit the edit key. So from here, first thing you have to do is make sure that your procedure is set up for multi-pass. So, I have mine set up for multi-pass. The way you know is over to the right, you can see on the data type it says multi-pass. So in this drop-down menu, if yours says standard, you want to change it to multi-pass. So next thing you're going to do is go down to pass list. So you want to have as many passes in your procedure as you want layers on your part. So for instance, for this example, I'm going to be showing you three passes. So if you wanted seven, you would just hit the number of passes right here and change it to seven. Okay. So you want to go to your first pass, you're going to hit edit. In the schedule tab, you're going to put in your parameters that you want to use for your first pass. Everything else should be turned off. Offset should be none, track should be none. We can be disabled or enabled if you want to. You want to hit the back arrow key here. You're going to come down to your schedule number two. You're going to hit edit. Again, you're going to put in your procedures. Only difference is on the second pass, you're going to hit offset. You want to select impasse. So when programming multi-pass, it is programmed in tool and path. So the X will be the path of the robot, and your X, your Y and Z directions will be your offsets. So you always want to put something in your Y and your Z. So Z is your height, and Y will be your direction. So right and left as an offset to your original well. So a good starting point will be three mil, three millimeters is what I always tell people. So the only way to know for sure is to actually weld your first pass, turn your weld off on your robot, and then see where your offset takes you. So depending on the leg size of your original weld, you might have to adjust to put more millimeters or less in your offsets. So again, I want to put three in my Z, three in my Y. So you can see on, on my screen it says start X and end X. So that's the path and the length of your weld. So if you want to stagger your starts, you would either put positive in your start X or negative in your end X to stagger your welds. So that'll be my second pass. I'm going to hit my return button here and go to schedule three. Hit edit. Go back to my offsets. Impasse. So again, because I put positive three in pass two for this one, I'm gonna put negative three to go to the opposite toe side of my original one. I still want three for my height. So that is that is the background programming for three pass multi-pass procedure. So if you wanted to do more passes, you want to do another layer, you would have, you want to do seven passes or six passes, then for schedule four, you would double your offset. So you got three for your second layer, so then you would go to six in your Y, and then six in your Z, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, go back to your program. You can slide the arc start out of your program, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my handle teach icon into my program and I'm going to record my home point outside. That's the first thing I do. So I'm going to record that. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is slide out my handle teach icon. And then I'm going to slide in my multi-pass weld icon. As you can see, it's going to take you to another screen. And this is why you have to set up your multi-pass procedure beforehand. Because it will not appear right here. Standard weld procedures will not appear in this drop-down menu. So I just edited weld procedure 6. I hit OK. So the only thing you have to touch up, as you can see, will be the 
four position points inside of your well procedure once you pass icon bracket. So point two would be your approach point to your well. So what you would do is you would move your robot to the position that you want to be your approach point. You want to click that and you want to hit touch up, hit OK. So then you would move it down to where you want your well start to be. Hit the linear tab, hit touch up. Move the robot down to where you want to end your well. Hit the next, hit your weld in, hit the linear tab, hit touch up. Then you're gonna pull it out to where you wanna end your weld, and that'll be your retract point. So the robot's gonna run these same four points for every sequential pass, okay? All right, so now, I'm gonna drive around my program so you guys can see the, where my offsets are. So you can see my first pass is right down the middle of my plate. Now you can see my second pass is three mil to the left of my original well. Okay. Now you can see I'm on the opposite side of my wall. That is how you program a multi-pass well for CRX profile.